I have fell down the steps in my backyard. They're big stone steps. I literally flew down the hill and injured my legs and had um, two very large wounds. The, the wounds were about as big as my hands on both of my, my shins. My um, family doctor, my GP here, wanted me to get into a wound care center as soon as possible. Now there is one five minutes down the road, but they had a waiting list. The next closest one would have been Laurel. They were able to take me there. After a few weeks, I met Dr. Fox, and he, um, being a surgeon, was really much more what I needed than um, just general wound care. Georgine had a pretty complex wound, and what was unique was it was on both of her legs, and they were very painful, and they were somewhat infected. Um, so she required some operative debridement in the wound care center. And then after some discussion, we decided to put the negative uh, pressure therapy, which is a wound vac, uh, which basically helps prepare the wound for a skin graft. I went in in the morning, had the surgery in the morning of the first day, stayed overnight, and went home like in the afternoon of the second day. Very, very pleased with the hospital, the staff and the um, the organization, the, the rooms that in the hospital were so nice. This is a very common procedure that wound specialists do. General surgeons, trauma surgeons, vascular surgeons, we all deal with wounds. And it's just another tool in our armamentarium to offer the patient. Uh, what's unique is that the University of Maryland has a wound care center in Laurel, which ex has expertise in hyperbaric oxygen therapy and all kinds of wound care supplies and really skilled nurses that know how to handle these patients. Fine now, I'm pretty much back to normal. I can do most, you know, most things. I'm careful. <laughs> I'm a little more careful, I think. Maryland was so well organized. It was just very well structured and, and well executed.